guys it's sunday morning here in connecticut and it looks like it's snowing a little bit out here so i feel like eating some tilapia curry i'm gonna head out to the store and grab me some tilapia it started to snow a little bit you see the flowers there the flurries is snowing a little bit so yeah i'm gonna make some nice tilapia curry there's some green mango some tomato i will see if i could get some okra to throw in it and make a nice well normally my curry turn out a little thick so i'm gonna make it a little thin today i would try to make it a little thin guys so yeah so you know <clears throat> walk me through my tilapia curry i'll share with you guys Okay guys, so here I am and the snow is coming down a little more now. It's coming down a little heavier. So I'm here at the store to get the fish. So I'm gonna go in and grab me the fish and some mangoes with some, see if they have some okra. It's not, look at it. It's coming down. Yay. Let's see if I could get some. It's very flurry, fluffy right now. As you can see, look at my clothes. I have some. Okay, guys. So here's my tilapia. Four, four tilapia. So here I'm gonna pick up some vine tomato. For some reason, I love the vine tomato when I cook curry mostly. So I'm gonna grab me some vine tomato, guys, and have this curry going. The guys are cleaning up my fish for me. So, and I find the okra guys, here we are. I'm gonna take a pack of okra. So we're gonna put in the curry. See, a grocery from in here, a lot of vegetables. They have baiga known as eggplants. They have sweet pepper, corn, celery, green beans, whatever you want. They have a couple of different kinds of um, Eggplants, bacon, whichever you guys call in it. These are squashes, different type of squash. See? They have this long one. They have, that's what they call it, Dominican. Dominican. They have these little ones. And then they have a new type here, Indian. Eggplants over there. And they have the fruits. Bananas, plantain. They have all type of cabbage here, guys. For different types of cabbage. They have some pumpkin, sweet potatoes, all of that. They have a lot of different types of fishes too. They have salmon, tilapia, kingfish, white snapper. Scallops and all different sizes, shrimp. Okay. Have all kinds of clams. And over here they have all the seasoning, guys. See? Look at that, guys. I got me some green mango now. So you see the price of green mango in America? It's for to pay. It's four dollar a pound. Okay guys, so here it's gonna be going down. I got my okra, tomato, scallion, shallow, tambour, and mango. And here is my fish. We're gonna get washed now with some lemon juice and scrape it and then it's gonna be all together. So Okay guys, so here it all is my fish is all washed and ready. Garlic pepper with some fresh green seasoning, scallions, onion, and I put some pepper there. My tamarind tomato and my um green mango. I leave the skin on. You could peel it or leave the skin on, whichever you prefer. My okra is ready and that's my masala 
my masala mix with everything already you got a curd powder and everything already in it so here we go guys so let's get the cook going okay guys so this is my masala in the bear masala doing in the aisle for now so now I'm gonna add as you could see it's frying on the oil okay guys so here I got all my tomato garlic pepper mango and if I get all this in here give it a good stir and then let this go cook for a little bit and then I'm gonna add my fish to it so I know some people keep the tomato they throw it last and stuff but I put everything in together only the scallion or the shallot <coughs> Okay, thank you. Um, so I'll let this cook for a little bit and then I'll put my fish in and give it a stir. The only thing I left for last to put in, I will put my okra halfway in and then I'll put my scallions when it's almost finished. Okay guys, so here's my fish in and give it a good stir. And I'm gonna leave this chunky or bunji. No, chunky is the one when you put this stuff in. So that's how when you want to remember some of the guy and stuff your grandparents saying. So I'm gonna let it bungee now for a little bit before I add my gravy to it. And when I'm gonna add the gravy, same time I'm gonna add my okra inside. Okra. Okra, okra. Somebody say okra. Somebody call it okra. I can't remember. But my daughter said it's okra. So yeah, then I'm gonna add my okra in it. Yep, she just like her dad, they always write. That's not true. So here it is, guys. It's cooking. It's boonjing. So I give this like the next two minutes, two to three minutes, and then I will throw the gravy in it. Okay, guys, so after a few minutes, here is my fish, okra, everything is in. I'm gonna cover this and let it boil for a little bit, and I'll check back on it. So hopefully I get the tin curry that I was talking about and the gravy is like thin. So let's see how it works. So this is it, everything is in. I'm gonna cover it up now. Okay guys, I put my curry is going. I'm gonna leave it open now, so I'm not sure if the gravy is gonna be thin like I want it. Here is it. So good, guys. It smells so good. Tanuria is not a fish person. She said it smells good. So it does. I'm thinking that you know, I might rock this fish curry today. Okay, guys. So here you have it, my tilapia curry. It's all done. I just throw the scallions, shallot, or whatever you guys call it, in it. So here it is. I think it came out thin, uh, like I wanted. So here it is. Here you have it guys. So you see I want the gravy to be very thin. So I got the gravy. So look how good this look guys. It smells really good too. So we're gonna try it and see how it tastes. Or <laughs> we're gonna taste it to see how it tastes. So let's do this. Can see the smoke. Really, 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 came up perfect. That's all I wanted. Perfect. So until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. Stay, stay safe, guys. Until next time.